The youth are the island's future leaders. Our quest to find out their interest and involvement in politics brought us to the Guam Community College's campus. Will these students be casting their ballot in the general election? I was planning to. Yes, I am. I haven't registered to vote yet. Will you be voting this election season? No, I will not be. No particular reason, I guess. My main focus is just on school. Anything other than that is, I know it's important, but it's just not my main focus as of right now. Yes, I will be. Yes. More likely, yes. Yes, I am going to be voting. As for if they'll vote based on party or a candidate's platform? Truthfully, party. I'd say the person because, you know, you can be part of a party, but then if, like, another person in another party has, like, the views that you like, then obviously I'd go for that person rather than the party. I'm more based on their platform and what they stand for. So say I do identify, I guess, as a Democrat, but if a Republican's platform seems more interest or seems more interesting to me or more important and they focus on issues I believe that should be addressed, I will choose that specific candidate or go towards that party, if that makes sense. Personally, I believe candidate. I would definitely vote for a Democrat over a Republican, but um, if they're, if the person like actually has a good point or like, like I said, is able to um, provide for the community and um, give facts instead of like their own opinions on what matters, then I guess they would be a perfect candidate. They're seeking to elect officials with these specific qualities. Their ability to, um, to lead, to, um, I guess their charisma as well, and they get the people together, um, what they stand for as well. Um, if it relates to people, to, to myself, to uh, the younger generation, older generation, um, their honesty as well, um, if they can be honest with the public, I think that's something that's important too. Someone who would stand up for the people. Um, do what they feel would be best for the island. I want them to like, when they say they have, like they promise something, like they'd act on it. Like she said, being able to um, act on your promises and what you advocate for, as well as um, being able to um, give back to the community more, as like, in terms of like homelessness and uh, listening to the people. And if you're going to advocate yourself as a democratic, um, person, I guess you should always listen to the to the people. I definitely they should believe they should be transparent, reliable, responsible, and just overall like have a positive outlook on things. But most like, but most importantly, they need to be transparent with the people of our island. I look for honesty and hopefully like true to their words. We get a lot of promises, but we don't get a lot of fulfillment in them. Who they cast their ballot for depends on the candidates addressing these issues. Recently, I think the abortion. The garbage and lighting in the back road, because that's where a lot of our accidents happen. I do think that the homeless rates are going up. And you know, just something to help them, because it's kind of sad seeing some of our people like not in homes and they're just camping out on the side. So I do hope that something changes with that. I'm big on healthcare, education, and improving like the poverty on island, as well as the environmental factors. I feel like there's been a lot of like scandals been going on as of uh, recent, a lot of higher ups. So um, I would like to see a change in, um, in that area. More, uh, more honesty, more people who are actually there for the people. Early voting in the general election begins on October 11th, and if you haven't registered to vote, you still have time. The deadline is October 24th. Hannah Devonzo, KUAM News.